San Francisco at the Search Engine Strategies Conference at the Spoon Center. Here with Matt Bailey, who's an expert in all things marketing. But it sounds like you're kind of going backwards in time because uh, we're we want to talk about uh, this famous phrase, uh, mm -hmm. the medium is the message, yes. and how that's relevant to marketing today. Oh, thank you, Ralph. It's always a pleasure. Uh, really, the medium is the message. Uh, when the internet first started coming around, one of the things that really you heard a lot of is that all the rules have been changed. The internet's yeah. changing everything. Uh, and unfortunately, I think people got locked into that way of thinking and they lost the foundations of marketing, they lost the foundations of what worked in trying to create something entirely new. Uh, so the web started out as being a new medium. However, the more you get involved in online marketing, you realize that online marketing itself is now being shattered into hundreds of different yes. mediums. Uh, video, podcasting, blogging, Twittering, uh, you Facebooking, know, Facebooking uh, LinkedIn-ing, <laughs> you, know, yeah, yeah. you know, each of those Emailing. is a different yeah. medium. Yeah. And the principle that Marshall McLuhan stated that the medium is the message has never been so true as it is today. So what does it mean, the medium is the message? The medium is the message means that you can say the same thing, but depending upon the medium that you use to say that, the listener will receive that message and interpret it differently based on the medium they receive that message. So for example, getting your, me getting your message out via YouTube, uh, for someone like uh, Blendtec with the, Will It Blend, that is an extremely effective visual yes. uh, mechanism for getting their message across. Mm -hmm. Will it blend? That is the question. However, for Twitter, not really not as effective. It's a text-based medium. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really describe it. Mm -hmm. um, however, it's a good supporting mechanism, mm -hmm. but it's not the primary means. Mm -hmm. uh, for other businesses, we've seen where blogging is an extremely effective medium. Mm -hmm. It tells a story, uh, it provides links, uh, it gives a good background, and also it's driving people to the site to help communicate their message. Mm -hmm. It really doesn't work so well on maybe a YouTube or a Facebook. Mm -hmm. and, and so really the challenge is, and, and this is really my message mm -hmm. to bring to marketers, is you need to find out, number one, what is your message? What's the primary message you're okay. trying to communicate? Mm -hmm. What's the best medium to share that message? Okay. The biggest question I get from marketers is, where do I spend all my time with all of the social media? How do I know I'm, I'm mm -hmm. doing something and not wasting my time? Mm -hmm. well, take a few steps back first. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the message. What's the best medium, the most effective medium for sharing that message? And do you have the resources to work within that? And then focus on that primary medium and let everything else kind of build naturally. Right. Now, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Your message is, the message is the medium. Is this medium the best medium for your message? <laughs> Anyway, yes. you don't have to answer that. <laughs> Tell me about your business and what you do. All right. Uh, my business, uh, I'm the president of Site Logic. Uh, we're an online marketing company, and really our clients have best described us as uh, conversionists uh, because <laughs> <laughs> that's what we do is we help companies understand their message, better communicate it for better results. All right. Thanks so much. Thank you, Ralph. This is Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing.